Excellency President Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, my fellow members of the University Council, members of the University Advisory Council, the High Commissioner of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, other ambassadors and high commissioners present, vice chancellors of sister universities, students, parents, teachers, lecturers, professors present. It's my honor to talk to you today. I'll only speak for five minutes. Um, <clears throat> I will begin by saying that we're very fortunate to have Professor Mugisha as our Vice Chancellor. You do not want to go to a restaurant where the owner of the restaurant does not eat at his own restaurant. Professor Mugisha's children are graduating from this university. So let us clap for the professor. I also want to say a very special thank you to um, our Chancellor for always taking the trouble to be present physically at graduation and is accompanied by a king. So thank you, King Eje. Um, to the graduating class, may I ask you to stand up so that you are not asleep as I speak for my remaining four minutes. If you have a smartphone, please raise it up please pull it out. And if you do not have a smartphone by some bad luck, please make sure that you own one within the next 30 days. It is no longer possible to say I am a university graduate and I do not have a smartphone. And this is because the smartphone has stopped being a smartphone. So my, mes my main message to you, which was the same as my message last year, is that this is a library, a source of ideas, a source of access to the best thinking and the best innovation in the world. You should all, beginning today, I urge you, make a commitment to learn something every day. You have the library with you. I am personally currently learning Latin, which I study for 10 minutes every day from my phone using Duolingo. Duolingo is a free app. There are thousands of other free apps on your phone. So I urge you to learn for at least 10 minutes every day. No one can say they do not have 10 minutes. That's my request number one. My second request is to everybody present here today, including our chancellor, when you return home, please find two primary school children. Please find two primary school children and teach them the multiplication table. The times table is the foundation of all quantitative thinking. If you cannot do the times table, it means you cannot count and it means you cannot study science or technology or engineering. It means you cannot innovate. It means you have almost nothing to contribute to the future of Africa. All of us can teach a child basic multiplication and counting. So as a graduate, you cannot say that you have nothing to offer. What you'll offer beginning today and beginning with two children is a knowledge of numbers which starts simply with the times table. Why do I say this? It's because Africa is currently number last in research, number last in, innova in innovation, number last in industrialization, number last in GDP, as you heard from Mr. Kalisa of the East African Business Council. Our transformation will begin with a commitment of each one of us, starting today, to teach at least two children the multiplication table. And your commitment to study for at least 10 minutes every day. For you to succeed graduates, 
if you can study 10 minutes every day for the rest of your life, minimum, if it goes beyond 10, even the better. And if you can, as the Minister of Science told us, commit to a life of service, which begins this week when you begin to serve two children. And if you can commit to always being truthful, you'll always succeed. Thank you.